Hello and welcome to my channel WordPress Gladiator. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your WooCommerce website so you would get 100% performance score and you would pass all the Google Core Web Vitals with the latest updates. So in this video I'm just going to share with you my all setup. So basically with this setup that I use right now I'm getting 100% performance score and I pass all the Google Core Web Vitals without any issues. So I'm gonna share with you all the setup, all the settings, what tools I use, what web hosting I use, themes and all that. All right, enough wasting your time, let's jump into it. All right, so this is my website and I guess let's start with the core settings and the core settings and adjustments options would be the theme I use and the web hosting I use. So the theme I use for this website is called Flatsome. All right, as you can see, this theme is the most popular theme on themeforest.net and it costs $59 and it's just a one time theme. So this is the theme I use. It's quite well optimized and it loads just great. And it's also very popular. All right, the next thing is my web hosting. So for my web hosting, I use Cloudways and I use DigitalOcean server. So this is my server and it costs me $46 per month. So it's four gigabyte server. It has two cores. I believe it has 80 gigabyte of uh, storage. So it's a quite powerful server for my online store. I started with uh, the cheapest plan. This one, I believe right here that costs around $10. And once my online store grew, once I uh, started getting more and more traffic, I had to upscale it. So now I use this server right here. Okay, so the next thing that I use, I use VP Rocket for cache settings. So VP Rocket is obviously the most popular and probably the best cache plugin out there. I have tried many of them and I've been using VP Rocket for the last uh, five or six years. So right, these are the settings I use. Uh, right here I haven't done anything and if I would go to cache as you can see this is how it looks so I have enabled caching for mobile devices of course and I haven't changed anything right here let's go to file optimization and as you can see I have activated minified CSS files uh, also activated minified JavaScript files and right here I activated this option as well and uh, as you can see I haven't activated all the options it's because I tested my websites with different types of options, with different types of settings to see which ones work the best without messing up my website and without uh, decreasing my speed performance. So I found out that those settings right here work the best. All right, let's go to the media. So for media, of course, enabled lazy load and enabled this option too. And I also enabled add missing image dimensions. All right, let's go to preload settings right here. And as you can see, I have activated preload and also enabled link preloading. And what else right here? I haven't added any exclusions, requests or anything like that. I uh, found out that those options right here work the best. All right, if I would go to advanced rules, I don't have anything here. And if I would go to the database, and of course, right here, you can do various cleanups of database. So if I would click right here, I would do a cleanup for my database. All right. If I would go to CDN right here, I don't use any CDN. I haven't added anything. In the past, I used to use Bunny CDN and I found that it works well. But right now I use Cloudflare Enterprise Plan and it works much better than Bunny CDN. And if I would go to Heartbeat, as you can see, I've reduced some activities. And if you want, you can try those settings as well. And if I would go to add-ons, I believe I don't have any add-ons added. So this is basically my VP Rocket setup. Those are the settings I use and those are the settings that I figure out works the best with my website, with my whole setup. All right, the next thing is the plugin for optimizing my images. So this is the plugin I use. I have a premium version of this plugin. I believe it costs me around $5 per month, so that's not much. And as you can see in general settings, I have auto optimize images on upload. So it saves me a lot of time. I don't need to manually optimize them myself. I just upload my images and they are optimized automatically. 
All right, I always back up original files. Uh, I use lossless compression because when in the past I used to use aggressive compression, I would lose quality of my product images tremendously. So I decided to go with lossless compression. It works great. And of course I activated this option, display images in next gen format on the side. So this one reduces the size of images as well. And if I would go right here, I just have some regular settings that are not that important. Those were default settings, so I haven't changed much here. Okay, so those are the settings I use for my image optimization. As you can see, this is how it looks. And now we can close this one. And like I told you, I use Cloudflare for CDN. And uh, in the past, I used to use a free version of Cloudflare. But ever since Cloudways, uh, they made a deal with Cloudflare. And now they offer enterprise plan that is quite performance optimized. And I just decided that I should switch to Cloudflare Enterprise. In the past, I have tried the free version. But uh, later, I moved to Bunny CDN. I found that Bunny CDN worked much better with my website. But since Cloudways, offered this uh, opportunity to use enterprise plan just for five dollars extra and that is also added to my monthly invoice of uh, cloudways web hosting so it's quite convenient and basically this is the dashboard for doing changes to cloudflare settings so i'm gonna go to settings to show you what settings i'm using myself and as you can see i have activated early hits right here I have disabled image optimization because I already use a plugin for that and as you can see mobile optimization was enabled this one as well all those settings were enabled by default and I also enabled this one so this is my setup for CDN for the Cloudflare and I also like this Cloudflare enterprise plan because it has some extra security layers so that's great as well. All right, so now you know what uh, plugins and tools I use for optimizing my website. You also know my settings. So basically those are the identical settings I use to get 100% optimization score for my online store. And I also pass all the Google Core Web Vitals with the latest updates. All right, this is it. Now you know my whole setup and this should help you to pass all the Google Core Web Vitals and you should also get 100 performance score. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.